So let's go ahead and get started, you guys, and have some fun today. What I want you to do is start with a little bit of a warm up and rotate your left leg externally. So just really draw that foot down and exaggerate that motion, and then just rewind it the other way. And then other foot. We're just trying to create as much space as we can, rotating that knee out, that hip, and then rewind it in. And then take your hands on your knees and circle. Let's not forget to breathe. We're gonna inhale through the nose. You can exhale through your mouth if you want to, or through the nose. But think about as we do exercises, the harder part of the exercise, you're gonna be exhaling. Think about exerting on the hard part. And what that does, it helps you to keep the abdominal muscles engaged so that you don't hurt yourself. So exaggerate those hips, really add that rotation as much as you can, and then rewind it. You don't have to move your head as much as you do your hips. So really tuck it open. And then take from here the arms and add some nice big rotation back. Think of spreading your wings. You're gonna hear me say a lot of stuff about not compacting the neck. So you wanna think about creating that space between your ears and your shoulders, especially as you lift weights. Drop forward and exaggerate. Inhale, exhale, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then interlace at your hands and just roll it out. Let's create a little bit of space in the rest. And then roll it in, just right towards you. Take from here and open up on that left. Just take your palm right towards me. And then just a rotation, palm down. Nice inhale, little stretch for that forearm, and then open up, other side. So I'm just drawing the fingertips down as far as I can, and then I'm going to gently rotate and pull that in. Now imagine that you're opening up a door, not really exaggerating that motion. Think about how often you use your rest and how infrequently you stretch them. Just like the feet, go ahead and rewind. Exaggerate. And then take your hands on your hips. We're gonna roll the neck here, shoulder and chin to chest. You're not gonna come backwards, just from one side to the other. And again, relax the shoulders down without shrugging. Inhale and exhale. One more time, side to side. And then interlace your hands and draw from here the arms out as far as you can. Tuck your pelvis round the back and exaggerate that stretch. Bring it back up. Take your hands right down into those quadriceps. Bend from here, round your back, tuck your pelvis, and then exhale, open. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, open. Think about that space always between the ears and the shoulders. And now let's create that space in that lower back. Inhale and exhale. One more time, you guys. Tuck and open. Very nice. Let's go ahead and open up the legs. Take the nice deep breath here. We're gonna take the left hand and rotate down to the right. I'm gonna reach nice and tall. Now your chin can come in towards your knee. You can take that right hand behind your back and really exaggerate that stretch looking directly behind you, contract it, open up the hamstring, shoot the arrows and the energy out of the back of your legs, and then open it back up and rotate, other side. Nice big breath in, left arm comes behind the back, contract and lengthen through that hamstring, chin comes toward that knee, nice big breath in. Nice big breath out. Let's just throw the pot from here. I'm gonna interlace with the elbows and just exaggerate that range of motion here, you guys. Create some space, let your head be heavy. Relax through the shoulders, inhale. And exhale, now rewind it. Inhale, 
Exhale, let everything go. One more time. And then take your hands on your knees with a nice flat back and gently rotate. Let's take that right shoulder down towards the left. So nice big stretch here, you guys. Push out through that inner thigh, inhale. Exhale, then go ahead and switch right here, really lengthen. We're gonna do a little stretch from the floor here. So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna come back. And this is, think about threading the needle. So what I'm gonna do is extend here and take my right leg. The left arm is gonna thread the needle and come underneath. Now, if this is comfortable from here, I'm gonna thread that needle, draw that arm under and look right towards that foot. If this is not comfortable, I would just bend my knee in and then relax into that puppy pose. So let's really try to get into that low back for a moment, you guys. Really reach and lengthen. Inhale. And exhale. One more big breath. Inhale. And let it go. Bring it back up. And then just switch to the other leg. Now you're going to be threading the needle the other way. So big breath and reach. Draw that under with your palm up and really rotate as far as you can. If it doesn't work, you simply draw that foot back into child's pose. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice, you guys. Now from here to the corner, just take your hand and scoot the hips back as far as you can and walk your hands all the way over to your right corner. So take a big breath in, sink and open through the side. If it's comfortable, draw the hips back. And then that other side, I can start high and then start to sink my hips down if that feels good. Nice big breath here. Nice big breath out. And then one more time to the front. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna to come to that downward facing dog. So I'm gonna curl the toes under and then gently lift up the hips, relax the heels down, create as much space as I can between the hip and the heel and then between the fingertip and the hip. So nice deep breath, you guys exaggerate that nice stretch here. Relax the head, neck, shoulders. And then if it's comfortable, you can walk either your hands into your feet or your feet into your hands, and then slowly roll back up. All right, let's do it, you guys. So what I want you to start with, whichever way you feel comfortable with, this is the movement. So we're gonna be stretching and strengthening simultaneously. So if you come to this position here, which is a warrior, I'm gonna go ahead and take my heel, line it up with the instep of that back foot. And then as I come down to this position, lateral raise, right back in. So I'm gonna open and pull it in. Now one, and two, and three. You can stay right here, four. You don't have to push back and forth. You can just do the lateral raise as well. Five, six, and seven. Now create as much space here, externally rotating that knee as well as that left hip. Nine, one more, and 10. So to the back and then just rotate now. Just gonna go ahead and take that left heel and step up that right. And as I come down, open, and close. Always keeping that tension and thrust out of my neck and just lifting as high as my shoulders. Squeeze and resist. Very nice, you guys. Exhale, inhale. Create that space through the hip. Keep your hips square and rotate right towards me. Three more, two more, one more time. Rest it up, you guys. Roll back. Roll forward. Rotate now to the other side. So now what we're going to do is take, if you can, both of the weights in one hand, or if you have a heavier weight, what you're going to do from here, 
is row to your hip, resist it back, row, and two, three. I can stay right here for four and five. I want you to wrap the arm right behind your back, six, and squeeze your scapula, seven, eight. Open up through the hip, nine as you rotate. Now stay low and row, one, two, three, press through the heel, and five. Lengthen that back leg. Three, and two, and one. Great job, you guys. Let's switch to the other side. All I do is line up my heel on the instep. Very important, this position gives you that best stretch for the hip. So shoulders back, belly button in, to the knee, to the hip. Inhale. Exhale, now let's not forget to breathe. As we row back, we're exhaling, supporting and pulling the belly button in. Five and six, wrap it around, seven and eight, squeeze it back, you guys, nine. One more, here we go, row, one and two and three, right to that hip, four, exhale, five. And six, first seven, you can always stay in one place, eight, nine, one more, and rest of you guys. Awesome, we're glad to take that down for a moment. And let's take a nice big breath and we're gonna go inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now keep your neck in control, let your body flow and release, hip distance, inhale. Exhale, get that energy moving. Wake that body up, you guys. Five more. Five, four, and three, two, and one. Awesome work. Now we're gonna go to a hip opener and a bicep curl. So think about plie. You're gonna come down as low as you can, and then you're gonna curl up, and then we're gonna come to an overhead press, okay? So again, you are gonna decide what weights work best for you. Uh, from this position, rotate your toes either at a 45 degree or all the way away. Either way, we're gonna be accessing the inner part of your leg. So keep your spine nice and tall, sink down, curl up, rotate, and then as you come up, we're gonna draw the weights away from you. So nice deep breath in, curl, rotate, push. Settle back down. Elbows close, rotate, and push. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, rotate, push. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, rotate those weights and draw them up and away. But again, keep those shoulders and the ears separate. Inhale, exhale. Four more times, you guys. As low as you feel comfortable, create that space externally, rotate those hips, but strengthen the inner thighs and the shoulders. Let's do it one more. Exhale, give it a quick little rest, you guys. Create that space through the back and the shoulders forward. We're gonna stay low and just do that curl. Now one. And two, I want you to hug your elbows into your side. If you need to, you pop it up and you come back in. Four, five, keep your belly button pulled in tight. Seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine. Great job, you guys, way to stay low. And 10, now I'm gonna pop it up for a second. Take a big breath in. Now I'm gonna drop and push. So two, draw the weight to the shoulders and to the corner of the ceiling. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, keeping it out of the neck. Let's do five more, five, four, and three. Exhale, two, one more time, and one. Great job, you guys. Bend your knees when you bring your weights down. Open it up here. One more time. Push through that shoulder. 
Take a nice inhale and a big exhale, you guys. Switch to the other side. So we're gonna work our balance a little bit in the coordination. If you need to use a chair or the wall, please also have something close by if you feel like the balance isn't quite there. And here's the thing, some days we're on and some days we're not, so just listen to your body. So we're gonna come into a tree pose. This is when I'm just rotating my knee out. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can be down like this. I can be up like this, or you can pull up and in as far as you feel comfortable. What I want you to do here is rotate your left arm out, take your right arm forward, and you're gonna switch and lift. So one palm in, one palm out. One, two, and three. If I'm holding on to a chair, I would just do the left arm. Four and five. Exhale, six. Exhale, seven. Relax the shoulders. Eight and nine. One more time, you guys. And relax it down. Roll the hips and exaggerate. Great job. Practice that balance, that coordination as much as you can. So when we get out there and we want to have fun, we don't hurt ourselves. Less chance of falling, the better that balance is. Now let's switch to the other side. I can open low. Maybe I have an issue with my hip. You decide what's going to be best for you. So you lift it up as high as you feel comfortable. Rotate that knee out. Okay, right arm out, left arm in. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. And three. Inhale, exhale, four, and five. Super mindful of the space between the shoulder and the ear. Six, seven, open up your elbows, eight. Feel that stretch in the hip, nine. Balance coordination, one more. And relax it, you guys. Awesome work, let's go ahead and open. Roll the shoulders back, follow the line of your leg. I want you to stick right here, your top of your head right towards me. Take a great big breath in and a great big breath out. Inhale, exhale. Sink from here and drop those knees as low as you can. Lengthen. I'm gonna grab my other weights here. Now I have a little bit heavier, a little bit lighter than not the world, three pounds or five pounds. I don't need to lift super heavy weights. So from here, you guys, what I want you to do is rotate again one more time. Now, we did a lateral raise, and then we also did bicep curls. This time, what we're going to do is a scapula squeeze. So I'm going to hold the weights from here, and then as I come up, I'm going to pinch and squeeze my shoulder blades together. Remember, I can stay just like this, focus on my form, keep my hips nice and open, and squeeze like this. Otherwise, open, one, two. Now make sure your posture is really tall, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze that, eight, nine. Now stay down low, pinch, two, three, four. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're gonna work that. That nice tall posture here, you guys, the stronger the scapula, the stronger those muscles as we rotate back, the easier it is to be tall. Four more. Three, two, and rest it. Lengthen your legs, toes forward, hinge from that hip, rotate the shoulders back. Nice deep breath, you guys. As far as you feel comfortable, sink the hip. Inhale and push it up. Now we're gonna to rotate to the other side. So heel, instep, shoulders back. Squeeze, resist. One and two, think about the posture. Where's your body in space? Three, open up here through the inner thigh, through the hip. Four, increase the range of motion in your hip, as well as strengthening that spine. 
the muscles around it to keep your posture tall. Five, six, exhale. On the insertion, eight, so as I come down, that would be the harder part of the move. Nine, now if you can, you're gonna stay low. One, and two, pinch and squeeze, three. Four, nice and tall, you guys, five, six, seven, fantastic, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Rotate the toes forward, follow down. Big breath, I'm gonna take my weights all the way down and round my back a little bit by tucking my chin into the chest and then comes that lengthen spine. If it doesn't work, my hands are here, I'll tuck and round and then lengthen, touching the floor doesn't work or I take my weight, round the back, lengthen the spine. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to that triangle pose. So in the yoga, we've got this pose right here, which probably one of the more popular ones that you've heard. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some weights to it, okay? So they don't need to be super heavy. If you just wanna work on the triangle pose, then work on the triangle pose. Heel in step. Shoulders are gonna come right in one line with each other. So as I reach here, first thing I want you to think about is where's my neck in space? So if I come here, I'm not gonna tilt my head one way or the other. It's gonna stay nice and stacked right atop of my spine and then just gently rotate right with that movement. And still one line here, big breath in and then pull in and reach to the other side. So inhale, lengthen, take your bottom hip and rotate it forward towards me. So bottom hip, rotate, reach through the arms and then push and reach to the opposite side. Nice inhale, exhale, pull, reach, open, lengthen and reach, pull right into that side and rotate. As far as you can, you guys. Inhale and exhale. Let's do four more. Line up your arms. Now, three more. I'm trying to keep those hips stacked. That bottom hip wants to pop out. Two more. Reach and rotate. Let's do one more time here. Reach. and rotate. Great work, you guys. Let's take a moment here and exaggerate again that range of motion in the hip. Fantastic work. Go ahead and rewind it. Balance, coordination, strength. The more we tie these things together, the better off we are. The more that we can multitask and get things done without hurting ourselves. Now let's go ahead and rotate to that other side. So again, my hips are gonna be square. Facing forward, heel in step, we're gonna be lined up, double shoulder back. And then what happens with my neck as I rotate here? It comes right with me as I reach and lengthen, still in one line with my spine. And then I'm gonna gently rotate and push that weight away. So line up through, take your bottom hip and rotate it forward, and then gently reach it across. So lengthen, let's line up those arms. And here we go, inhale, reach, open, and exhale, crunch right into that side. Let's do five more, reach, and rotate. Four more, inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open, line up your arms as much as you can. Watch that neck, it's tempting to rotate, to one rotate. If you need to, you can always look to the floor. One more time, lengthen and reach. Fantastic work, you guys. Now, shoulders back, roll them back and roll them forward. Go ahead and take your weights down for a moment. What we're gonna do is a few little jumping jacks. So I like to try to incorporate at least 50 jumps into each of our workouts to increase that bone density. So from here, nice and light. If it doesn't work, I would just step tap. We're gonna go 10 in each direction. Three, two, now rotate to your left. Two, 
four, six, posture tall, eight, rotate, two, four, six, eight, rotate, two, four, six, eight. Again, now all we're going to do is rotate in the other direction and five. Four, remember, step tap. Here we go. Ten, eight, six, four, two. Here we go. Ten, eight, six, four, two. Here we go, you guys. Have some fun. Let's increase that bone density every chance we get. Three, two, rotate right here. Two and four, six, eight, and relax it. Let's pull. Now start to rotate the knee outward. Try to lift up your knee as high as you can. Exhale as you lift that knee. Four more. Three, two, one more time. And relax it. Great job, you guys. We're gonna come down to the floor. And what we're gonna work here is our crouching tiger in and dragon. Now this move here, I come on all fours. And what I'm gonna do is keep my spine in control, curl my toes under, and just barely lift my knees. I can do the same move for my elbows, just like this. And anytime we need a break, I'll stop. So what we're gonna do is hold for the count of 10. Palms underneath your shoulders, belly button pulls right in, keep your neck in neutral. Curl the toes, here we go. Engage the abdominal muscles, press to the palms or the arms, here we go. Eight. Six, where's that belly button? You're pulling it right into your spine. Four, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees, lift up and take your right arm and your left leg, pull, reach. One, two, three. Now square off your hips, four, five, six. Seven, elbow in, palm open down. Nine, and 10. Again, crouching tiger, then we'll do the other side. Hover, hold, belly bends in. Engage, you'll feel some of the quads and the abs. Eight, from your elbows to spine, six, and four, and two. Relax it. Left arm, right leg squared off. One. Two, three, palm up, palm down. Try to square the hips off, you guys. Exhale, reach, four more. Three more, two more. One more time. Again, let's hover now. After we hold, we're gonna kick back down dog or dolphin pose from my elbows. Big breath in. Hover, I'll only a half an inch off that floor. Pull that belly button in, you guys. Engage now, five, four, three, two. Push back and open. Lengthen it up, relax your head, neck and your shoulders. Feel that nice space you're creating in the back of your legs. Let's do it again, here we go. Inhale, engage, pull that belly button in, you guys. Remember, I can do this for my elbows. Inhale, exhale, three, two, push back. Dolphin, if the down dog doesn't work, big breath in now, big breath out. Drop it. I want you to have a weight close by. It doesn't need to be super heavy. As we repeat this again, we're gonna add the third dog using a weight if you're comfortable. So I just have my weight close by. Nice deep breath in. Square it off. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Engage. Pull that belly button and keep your neck in neutral. Drop those knees a half an inch, you guys. Three, two, 
One. I'm going to take this in my right hand, lengthen the left leg, pull and reach. One, two, three. Exhale, four, five. Square up your hips. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And 10. Now I'm just going to take that weight to the other side. I can do this for my elbows. Hover. Take a nice deep breath in, you guys. Pull that belly button in. Eight. Make sure that your neck is relaxed. No train of hyper extended. Four, three, two, and rest it. Here we go, bird dog. Open. One. Make sure your palm is under your shoulder. Three, open up through that hip, four, and five, six, seven, eight. You guys got this. Nine, one more, and 10. Awesome work. Let's go ahead and have a seat here on our back. I'd like to use one of these weights. If you need to tuck the pillow, have something behind your back because the leaning back doesn't work for you, you're welcome to do that. Now from here, I'm gonna to toss the weight from one side, toss the weight to the other, and try to catch. I can do it without a weight, and just rotate that Russian twist. Here we go. One, two. Now again, I wanna to try to increase that range of motion in my spine, but work my obliques, you guys. Here we go, exhale. You go to reach for something, and you throw out your back easily, you wanna make sure that you can strengthen all the muscles down the side of your abs, your obliques, your back, your scapula, all these things play a part, you guys. Four more. Three, two. Now I'm just gonna stick here to that right side, come back to the middle pocket. Now try to drop back as far as you feel comfortable. If you need to sit up tall, it doesn't matter. You can still rotate the whole body. Four, three, Two, now rotate to the other side, you guys, one. Two, now catch it, three, release it, four, five, and six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and rest it. Wonderful job, you guys. If you have a long resistance band, we're gonna stretch out your legs. If you don't, you can just draw the legs without using it. Maybe a belt or a, um, a rope tie works well if you have something close by and you don't have it again. So what I want you to do from here is lengthen, take the band in your left leg or your right, it doesn't matter. You're gonna anchor the opposite hand out, take a nice deep breath in, contract the opposite leg that doesn't have the band in it and relax and open. I want you to score up your hips here. Take a great big breath in, great big breath out. Now, what does it feel like when I really contract and lengthen and shoot energy and arrows out of my anchored leg? I can always come here if I need to, but if I can lengthen, I'm gonna create as much space between my hips as possible. I'm gonna draw that leg up, switch hands, and then pull right across. Now I wanna flex my foot, make sure the band's in the center of the foot. If I do not have a band, I can hug my knee in, and not worry about lengthening the leg, it doesn't work. Inhale, I'm anchoring now, that arm, arm out, I can bend the knee lengthen, or just keep it nice and straight, you guys. Fantastic. Now let's just gently switch to the other leg and repeat those little two stretches. So now, same arm, same leg, opposite one that you just did, and then anchor the opposite leg down, flex the foot, and create that space in your hips. So try to lengthen your spine by reaching your hand down and facing directly towards the ceiling. So really lengthen both heels, contract and push the energy, arrows out of your heels. Big inhale, big exhale. Switch hands, same leg, anchor the opposite arm, and then rotate all the way down your IT band. If it doesn't work to lengthen, we can bend. I can hug that knee, take that great big inhale. Don't worry about keeping your bottom leg facing up. It's fine to let it go. The stretch here is coming 
from that top leg coming over. Big inhale and a big exhale. Wonderful work, you guys. Go ahead and take that off. I want you to go ahead and grab your light weight together. Now, again, if I need to have that pillow, something tucked behind my back, not a problem. I can come right here and work this move, drawing my elbows in and then reaching right to the corner. Now, I'm going to add a roll to this. So if I feel comfortable rolling, I'm going to check behind me, make sure I have nothing in my way. I want to make sure that I'm not rolling on my neck. I also have weights, so I need to make sure I'm mindful of where they're going. So as I come back, I'm going to pull over, reach up, and reach the arms, okay? I can stay right here, don't have to roll. I can also pull over, keep my feet up, lengthen, and come back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, I don't want you to shrug your shoulders. I want you to reach, take a big breath in, Inhale, exhale. If I don't want to come back and down, I can lift one leg and then the other leg. Let's do three more. Pull over and reach. Last two. Last one, you guys. Stay right here. One, two, three. Now you're not shrugging your shoulders. Your belly button's in. You don't have to use weights. They also don't need to be very heavy. Three, two, and one. Great work, you guys. Open it up here. Tabletop your shins. Rotate both of your knees over to your left side. Again, we're creating that space between fingertips, shoulder, low back. Open and lengthen. Big breath in. Inhale, table. Exhale, rotate, other side. Nice deep breath in. If you want a deeper stretch, draw that knee across. Big inhale, big exhale. We're gonna flip over you guys. The Probably the number one exercise if you have a few minutes would be to do a plate. It works the entire body. And it also brings your heart rate up as well as your body temperature. So from this position, I can start on my knees. And on my forearms, this is this is what works best for me. This is where I'm gonna go. If I can, I'm gonna lengthen and make sure my neck is in neutral. My shoulder blades right here are not squeezing together and tucked in, but gently open. Okay, I'm gonna keep that belly button pulled in and make sure that my body is in one line. Now, from this position, all I want you to do without moving your back is tap your left knee and then your right knee. If you're already on your knees, you'll lift up one leg and then the other. All right, so watch from here your posture. Your neck is neutral. Get into whatever position works best for you. Do not let your low back dip down. Tap one and two. Press to the forearms. Pull the belly button in. Nothing else is moving besides that knee. As I exhale, I'm watching and pulling that belly button right into the spine. I'm going to do four more taps. Four, three, neck in neutral, two, squeeze the shoulder blades, one more. Sorry, squeeze the armpits, drop to your knees, and then come to puppy pose. So right here, we're going to lengthen your arms out as far as you can. Keep your hips nice and high. Big inhale, you guys. Now, this next move in the plank can be a little bit challenging. I'm going to be moving my legs and lifting them. If it's too much for you, you can still hold on to your knees. You can also rest and do an upward facing dog if you prefer. All right, so I can either come to a high plank or on my elbows, but for the sake of being able to show you, I'll come up with my palm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate my right knee so it taps the in part here. Rotate the center. So as I come here, the knee's going to tap to the center. I'm going to lengthen that leg, kick to the corner, tap it down. Rotate the other knee internally, lift up that leg, and take it down. I can come from my elbows. I tap the knee in, lift the leg to the corner, tap the knee in, and lift. What you're going to notice is your hips 
are going to rotate. Okay, so let's do this five times, you guys, alternating, which will be a total of 10. Here we go. Tap, lift, kick. Tap, lift, one. Tap, lift, kick. Tap, lift, two. If it doesn't work, I keep my opposite knee down. Tap, lift, three. Tap, lift, kick. Tap, lift, four. And tap, lift, lengthen. Tap, lift, and rest it again. Puppy pose. Open it up, you guys. Create some nice space here in the body. And then sink that energy down nice and low. Rock your hips side to side. Now, as we work that external rotation, you guys, of our hips, you think about the glutes, which is the largest muscle in the body. We want to make sure that we strengthen every part of it, the maximus, minimus, and medius. So this next move, you're going to feel like your knee is barely going to lift from the floor. You can also, it's a way to open up those hips. All right, so I'm going to come all the way down here, and I'm going to externally rotate my left knee out and tuck it right into the knee of my right leg. My hands are going to go ahead and place right down underneath my forehead. My arms are going to be activated. I'm not just letting everything relax. I'm holding my body and pushing down to the ground. And what that's going to do is going to help me lift up my leg barely off the floor. So if I curl my Lengthen right leg and take the toe down to the floor. Then I've got that nice lever. I'm going to squeeze the lift right here, you guys. Half of an inch. One, two, three, four, five. If you need to rotate to your side and do this, it's fine. Six. Okay. Sometimes people get frustrated because they can't move their leg. Seven and a half an inch is fine. Eight, nine. Close it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now hold it up there. Contract and lengthen both legs. Eight, seven, six, and five, four. Hold it. Three, two. If you can't give me ten, hold it at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lengthen that leg out. Boy, oh boy, take those heels, tap them in. That's not easy, you guys. I'm going to tuck my elbows underneath and roll my neck. Take a big inhale, big exhale. Those assisting muscles are generally very weak, which is why that knee barely lifts off of the floor. So I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay, so now taking the palms underneath, curl, take that left leg curl under, right knee is going to open, maybe one knee will open more than the other. Remember, if you need to rotate your side, that's fine. Here we go, tuck it in, lift it up, one, two, three, four, you're exhaling as you lift, five, six, squeeze, seven, eight, Nine, that's your glute minimus, you guys. Right here, pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it tight. Lengthen your left leg. Isolate and squeeze. Anytime you need a break, take it. Four, three, two, right here, you guys. Give me 10 more pulses to finish. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and you did it. Awesome job, you guys. Take a nice deep breath in, rotate your hips, just a little side to side. Look to your left side, look to your right side. Prop yourself up on your elbows, roll the neck. Squeeze the glutes, protect the back. Especially if you take those palms underneath the shoulders, you're going to come to an upward facing dog. So take your elbows, squeeze them in, keep your neck in neutral, and lift as high as you feel comfortable, lifting but relaxing the shoulders down and lifting the top of your head right toward the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes, protect your back. Again, minimize the range of motion if it doesn't work for you. You go to the edge of the cliff and take a step back. 
And then release now, puppy pose. Hips high, head low. Again, sink that energy. Let's create as much space as we can between our hips and fingertips. Pop yourself up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, if you feel comfortable and you want to try and cat cow in crouching tiger, you go for it. So big breath in, we come cat cow, tuck, round knees in, and then open, round tuck. Open, round tuck. Open two more times, round tuck. Open one more time, you guys. Tuck, open, push back down, dog. And then walk it up, you guys, right here. Soften those knees. Fantastic work. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our move where we go ahead and rotate and create that space in the legs. Now, what I want you guys to do is again, we're gonna line this up, heel and instep. The focus today is a lot of opening up the hips. As you come down, you're gonna curl, make sure that your knee is not really traveling very far past your toe, especially if you have no, injury, no knee injuries. If you're fine, you can come right to the edge and a little bit beyond if you feel comfortable. So pop, release, two, and three, now keep your elbows close to your body, four, and five, curl it up now, six, and seven, eight, and nine, and 10, stay low. I can do this from standing, I don't have to add the movement with the lower body. Five, right to my head, back up. Stink your energy down lower if you can. Four, three, and two, one more. And one, pop it back up, rotate. Heel, instep, space in your hip. Curl, one, two. We're trying to take here any momentum out of the movement by hugging the elbows into the side. Exhale, up and down. Four and three, you guys look fantastic. Two, now I want you to stay low. Here we go, open the square of your hips, one and two, keep it open, three and four. If you need to stand up to it, five, six and seven and eight, two more times you guys, nine, one more and 10. Now open up your legs and face forward. You're gonna open your arms here and front, rotate them out to the side, shoulders back. You're gonna hinge forward from your head, lift back up, and then rotate your weights to the top of your head and extend the arms out and pull them back in. So I'm gonna hinge from my hip, but I'm not gonna let my back round. I'm gonna keep it straight. Push through the heels, open, extend, pull back in. Lengthen the spine, elbows, arms open, activated. Exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Fantastic, you guys. Hinge from the head, big breath in. Elbows open, reach out, pull it back in. Inhale, flat back, exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, reach for it. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Now from here, I'm gonna step in just a little bit, roll my hips. And then I'm gonna stand on one foot. Now, as we work that balance, you can barely lift up one foot or you can lift up your knee so that it's as high as your waist. So I want you to take that nice deep breath in. Again, we're gonna open up here. I can rest my foot on the other or just lift it here so I have quite to use my abdominal muscles for my balance. I'm gonna pop and drop. One, two, three, four, five, Six, palms in, palms out, seven, and eight, two more, nine, and rest it. Switch legs. Try to lift up your knee as high as you can. Open up your elbows to the side. One, two. Now what happens with your abdominal muscles when your arms come up? You exhale and you pull that belly button in. 
five, six, seven, eight. Two more times, you guys. Nine, one more. Let it go. Wonderful job. Open and forward. Let's just do a quick little airplane kickback. So from here, I'm going to take my right foot forward, my left leg back, I'm going to bend from my elbows. I need a weight that I feel comfortable hinging, rotating, and stepping back. If I'm not comfortable here, I can just have to take that. Here we go. One, two, three. Center of balance. Find your focal point on the floor. Five, exhale. Six, try to square your hips. Seven, eight, nine, one more and 10. All we're gonna do is switch legs. Shoulders back, belly button in. Find your focal point, kick back. One, make sure that your neck stays in neutral. You're not hyperextending three. Elbows close to your side, four. Exhale, five. And six, seven. Up and out of your hip flexor, eight, nine, one more. Awesome job. Now from here, I want you to imagine that you're going for a run. So I'm gonna go ahead from here, I'm jogging it out, and then if I feel comfortable, I'm gonna step back, kick back. One, two, three, four, five. We've got a bicep, tricep action happening. Five, four, three, two. Speed it up if you can. Don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shoulders back, belly button in. Start running. Get those arms activated. You need to switch your weight to do it. You step back with it. One, two, three. Don't shrug your shoulders. Four, five, six, seven. Your neck is in control. Eight, nine. Speed it up. Eight, nine, and 10. Roll it back, roll it forward. Let's add that range of motion again in the hip. Rewind it. Awesome job, you guys. We're really close now. What I want you to do is you're gonna open up through your hip flexor. I'm gonna lengthen this back leg. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand, drop it to my knee, pull it back in, reach it up. Lengthen your back leg, bend the knee, pop it up. Rotate over to that leg, pull it back in, pop it up. Lengthen your leg, rotate, pop it up. Rotate, pop it up. Lengthen your back leg, then bend it to pop up if you want to. Lengthen, bend, lift. Lengthen, bend, lift. Inhale, exhale, two more. Open up through your hip flexor, one more. Awesome job, you guys. Let's switch legs. We wanna make sure that we are hip distance apart when we do this or the balance is gonna be off. Open up and lengthen through your hip flexor here. Take your arm, rotate it to your left. As you bend here on your leg, you're gonna pop it up. Lengthen your back leg, bend and lift it. Lengthen the back leg, then pop it up. Inhale, exhale, lengthen, bend. Lengthen, bend. Great job, you guys, lengthen. And pop that up, four more. Inhale, exhale, three more. Two more. Lengthen, one more time. Great job, you guys. Grab that mate. And let's go ahead from here. Step back, take a big breath in, curl up, kick back, and out of front snapping. Step back, curl, kick back. One. I can keep my back leg straight or bent. Three. Four. Curl up as you come back. 
kick back as you kick forward. Four, three, two, one more, you guys. Awesome work. Let's switch it up. Finish it strong. Step back, hip distance. Front snap kick. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale to kick, pull the belly button in, kick your tricep back. Let's do it, last four, and three, and two. You guys got this, last one. You guys are amazing. Go ahead from here. Lengthen, open. Follow down, but do not let your heart come lower than your hip. Reach and lengthen, both arms in opposition. Deep breath in, left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Big inhale, take from here and draw that left arm on top of the right. Keep a nice lengthened spine. Then track the quadricep, open up the hamstring. Lift it back up, rotate. So as I come from here, reach and lengthen, left arm, right arm behind you, palm up. Now imagine somebody's got both of the wrists and they're reaching in opposition. The back is nice and flat. Inhale, left hand down, right arm over the top. Crown of your head right to the corner. Contract the quadricep, open up your hamstring. Big breath here, you guys. Big breath out. Pop it up, open. Center of balance, might need to have a chair or a wall. Number four stretch, external rotation, find your center of balance and sink down just as low as you can. This is it, you guys, you did such a tremendous job today. I want you to relax that hip belt. Maybe come to this pose a few times today as you're sitting, relaxing, let it go, switch. I like this stretch too when I'm sitting in the car as a passenger, it's a nice way to open up those hips. Big breath in, you guys, relax that knee joint. Take a nice inhale, push your palms together, relax the hip, and then pop it up. Let's take three big breaths. Let's inhale positive. Spread the wings, exhale, anything negative, just let it all go. Sweep the floor, reach for the sky. Sweep the floor. Now think about all the things you have to be thankful for. Pull them right into your heart center. Say, thank you. Take a nice deep breath in. Gently relax your head. Namaste.